everybody and welcome back. So today we are in my wood shop. Normally we're on the other side, but today we're on this side. I have a giant piece of acrylic, a precision T-square, some blueprints, and we're going to get started making some panels. So never actually made panels with acrylic before. It's a little floppier than I was expecting, but since we're only doing a five inch sheet, it should be fine. So we're going to have some fun. I'm going to mark this up and we're going to get to cutting. So, let's go. So, it kind of worked, and at the same time, it kind of didn't. So, it actually ended up cracking right in the middle, so I'm going to have to redo this, but I'll get at least one piece out of it. So, I need to score it for like half an hour longer, Sorry. but I have a little piece dangling. So, I don't know if you guys can see it too well, but it shattered right down the middle. Uh, and I've got some hard edges over here that I don't like. But they're scored well enough. It looks like glass. That's scary to look at. That was not ideal. There is a crack right there. So I have about that much and about that much, which is enough for a couple of panels. So we are going to start with that. I'm going to now cut the second one. Maybe find something longer to use as a straight edge. Because that was not fun moving it twice. But I'm going to cut the second one and we'll be back in just a little bit. Alright, I now have two sheets of acrylic. One of them is slightly bigger than the other, which is the idea. It's a smidgen smaller on the top panel. So, we are now going to mark these at the correct length, at the correct depth. Then cut them at that depth, and then we're going to start plotting out our holes and everything else. So I'm going to mark and cut these to size real quick, and I'll be back in just a second. Alright, I now have two much smaller pieces of acrylic. One is slightly smaller than the other. Not sure how well you can see it, but a little overlap there, a little overlap there on pretty much all sides. It's going to sit a little more like... A little more like that, but it's kind of hard to see because of the protective layers on it, which I could remove now, but there's no real reason to. So I've got to do a whole bunch of precision hole layouts. They're technically one to one, so I could just put it on there and go, this is good enough, but I don't think I'm going to do that. That's kind of cheating. We'll see. But I'm going to lay out a whole bunch of holes real quick, and we'll be back in just a minute. Okay, so I now have a whole bunch of little blue dots. I don't know how well you can see it. Blue dots and some lines. I'm going to go cut and drill those out. Yeah. Let's go do that. So, over the drill press. It's kind of dark, so you guys won't be able to see much. But, over we go. So, real quickly, I need to center punch all the holes. There you go. Full drilling time. Alright, next we are going to drill these radius, which we're actually going to do with a drill bit. No! Biscuits. <laughs> Our 17, 7 sixteenths. So we're going to drill those out real quick. So tip for you guys, remove the plastic layer before you draw all your lines.
Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed watching me make the nice little fuel panel. It was a lot of fun to make and it wasn't quite as hard as I thought it would be. So I have gotten it all wired it up. It all wired up. And I have plugged it into an Arduino, written some quick code. All the buttons and switches work, which honestly makes me really happy. I need to do a couple more things, but I think we're going to either be building a controller or we're going to start actually making the cockpit so we can put these guys in it. That would be super neat, but we shall see where this goes. You guys will have to stay tuned for the next episode and see where this goes in the next direction. But hopefully you guys liked watching me make this little panel, and we'll see you guys in the next episode.